Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome back to another video of ours. Today we have the top 10 uncapped Irish under 21s abroad. This is a list you will not see the likes of Jason Knight, Adam Ida. Anyone who's capped for the senior side will not be in this list. And anyone in the League of Ireland currently playing will not be in this list. So Daz has the list today. Daz has got to go through the list. It's his list. So he's got to start off at number 10 and work his way down to number one. I'd say it was difficult to rank Daz, was it? Hi, Aki. Yeah, God, this actually was quite hard to rank. Um, a lot of people could argue for different players, let alone different positions in this list towards the end of the video. Because yeah. once it got to about, once I had my top five done, it, it was quite hard to actually put some on a six, put some on a seven, eight, nine, and ten. But everyone had to go somewhere. So if people are wondering why is someone so a tenth and why is someone so a one, what I went by is the players that I know that I've seen play quite a lot because I watched the Championship League 1 and League 2, I watched highlight shows, watched when they're on. Players who are actually playing regularly for the club, first of all, I think it's important. And yeah, players who might, yeah. yeah, and players might who have been playing all the way up to 21 level for Ireland who's been in the round system and that are known. So that's kind of how I went about ranking it. Because look, we've seen players like Sam Byrne, we've seen players like Clem McGauley and top teams who went the whole way up to under 21 level Man United Liverpool and just not make it um, but, and actually they've been underage Ireland internationals too so hopefully these players won't uh, be, be end up being like that but anyway if we get into it for number 10 I went with um, Andrew Moran um, an attacking midfielder that I'm not sure if many people might be aware of he's on Brighton um, he's only 17, 18 very very young he moved over with Ever Ferguson I think right around the same time if not together He's an exciting young player. He's been playing quite ahead of his years for quite some time. Um, when he was 15, he was like under 17, under 18. So, you know, he moved abroad very, very early in his, you know, in his um, football um, development. But um, he's definitely someone who's, who's won as that clutch in the first team very, very soon. But he's very, very young. He's very raw. Um, but he's a very exciting player. If you have any, if you have a chance to watch any of videos about him, Definitely watch him. Watch his energy, his first touch, his passing range. You know, he's even his intelligence on the pitch. He's a real kind of, he's a more attacking kind of Jason Knight kind of player. Is how I describe him. I think um, that really sums him up. And I definitely think one day he's going to make a senior Ireland cap. But that's this could be five six years later. But he's someone to keep an eye on. I think he's a smashing young player. Someone had to go ten. I know people mightn't agree with he should be ten for anyone who knows him pretty well, but. Again, I've kind of ranked that he's playing and who's actually, you know, really playing and making appearances. Um, but yeah, he's gone for number 10 for me. Yeah, he was at Bray Wanderers as well. And uh, number nine. Number nine, I went with Joe Hansen. Um, I'm sure a lot of people would know uh, who this player. Um, he's obviously holds a Luxembourg passport. I think it's uh, Spanish or French as well, if not both. Mm. It was a big fight for him to try and get a senior. Irish passport and um, you know an Irish kind of being able to play with Ireland from FIFA um, he really wanted to play with Ireland um, he really went ropes to try and go and get it done so his desire to play for Ireland is, is really there he wants to do well going from Seville with, in, um, in the Netherlands with um, Fortuna I think it's the name of the club but he's only played not even a handful of games this season four or five times he's been in and around yeah. the squad but he's not really getting in you know as much as we We'd be hoping he would, so he'll have to assess his options again going forward. But in terms of uncapped players, who's not in Ireland, and um, I think he kind of fits number nine. But um, I think he needs to get himself a move if he wants to try and progress on. That's why he's nine. But he has a desire to play for Ireland. Hopefully, he gets a move and gets himself developed more and gets playing more regularly. But he's number nine for me. Exciting young player to watch too. So hopefully, we do get to see more of him. Number eight. Number eight, I have went for JJ Patrick Finn. Um, this player has he's played eight times for Catafe in the La Liga. Um, he's another attacking player as well, and he can play anywhere across the front tree. He's played on the wing as well. Um, you know, eight times he's he's come on. He's very young. He's seventeen. Um, he's got his whole career ahead of him. He he's someone I think is really going to do things and go places, but. To be in and around the senior squad, be making eight appearances this season at that age is really something. I think it's it's obviously shown he's got talent and the club do believe in him and his manager believes in him. And only time I've seen him come on, because I have seen a few games where he's come on, the players, you know, they're really getting in with him and they're giving him the ball, they trust him on the ball. And he's not a player that loses possession 
quite much, you know, often. So <laughs> that's, that, that would really work for our senior Ireland team, hopefully, in the future, because we like to lose possession quite a lot. Obviously, Stephen Kenny's changing that, but he's definitely an interesting player to keep an eye on for the future going forward. Um, as I said, eight appearances, and it's only going to get better. If he makes eight more, he's approaching 20. So, you know, that's really good going for a teenager in La Liga. So hopefully he goes on and does better things, but he's definitely someone to keep an eye on as well. Yeah, six foot four as well, which is incredible, really. Number seven. Number seven, I have went with um, Joel Bagan of Cardiff. Um, this is a player I've seen quite a lot, actually. He's made a good few appearances in the championship this season. Mick McCarthy has trusted him to play. And, you know, he, he had him in that left back quite a lot. Um, Centre back sometimes yeah. too. He started for the Ireland 21s um, for quite a bit. Um, you know, I think the fact that he's jumped up to the championship and actually got himself into the team a good few times this season. I think he's played ten times this season or that. Um, is showing his pedigree that he's trusted and he's playing at quite a high level in the championship. Um, I think he's he'll go on. Um, not too sure how far he'll go, but you know, ten appearances in the championship, he's doing pretty okay for himself. I think, and he's someone to monitor and keep an eye on in the future. In terms of left backs, I think we're doing pretty good. Was, um, and defenders were doing pretty good but he's someone who's developing and hopefully he can only get better um, but yeah he's kind of an old style kind of left back I think um, he's he's fast he's um, good in the ball and he can get up and down the pitch well and he can play a centre back I can see him maybe moving into a centre back in the future but um, I'll vote for him with number 7 Interesting so number 6 Number six, yeah. number 6 one of <laughs> Sean Rowan hopefully I'm saying that right ah, yeah. he's Sean little- Rowan yeah yeah He's the left back for Lincoln. Um, I think I said this to you, Keith, about two years ago, a year ago. Um, I was talking about him when he was 16 and he came in and he mm. playing and starting games for him. And he, was, he started so many games for them. And he's been linked with like Southampton, Man United, a few other clubs, big club. He's been linked with Norwich, another one. Um, I, I think he's gone go and do really big things he's so young and he's getting into the team and he's starting quite a lot of games Um, he's someone to really definitely keep an eye on anyway on your live score and check is he in the team and if you have a chance to watch Lincoln match if you don't have any other <laughs> matches to watch and he's starting definitely have a watch have a look at him he's very fast he's good at crossing he's an attacking left back and I think he's someone who will develop into an attacking left back a really good one he's like a Seamus Coleman on the left side kind of coming up that kind of a player, hopefully he develops into the next game is common. I think he'll go on and go the whole way up to the Premier League eventually. Very young. I'm very um, happy with how he's doing. I think he's doing very well. And if he does get a, a move to a Premier League team, hopefully he gets a low one out and keeps playing because, you know, when these young players are playing, they're developing. When they're not playing, they're not necessarily developing as quick as they might. But um, he's doing very well for himself. And he's a very good player. So definitely watch a match if you can with him. Um, he's a really good player to look at. Yeah, definitely one to watch there. Number five. Into the top five now. Um, I went with Evan Ferguson as number five. Um, yeah. I think a, quite a lot of people, um, even if you don't watch League of Ireland, know of Evan Ferguson. Is he's he not an old lad at this stage, is he not? <laughs> he's, he's quite tall and strong. He looks about 25. And, he, and he's only, what, 17? He's 17, 17, yeah, yeah. Just gone seventeen. Um, yeah. he's been on the bench for the Premier in the Premier League last, you know, few games. And the manager there, uh, of Brighton, has been giving him applause at press conferences. He's been speaking quite highly of him, saying that uh, he's doing quite well in training and he's knocking on the door of the first team. Maybe his age is holding him back from yet in the game. Who knows? But he's he's definitely someone who's who's doing quite well for himself and developing quite nicely. And the fact that he's broken into the first team, albeit not playing but on the bench, is saying for, for a 17 year old at Premier League level. Yeah. Like, you know, in the Premier League, you could go out and buy yourself a striker for 10 million. Why would you give a 17 yeah. year old first get a chance? But um, he, he's definitely doing all the right things. He's got a great attitude. He's someone that we both know from the League of Ireland. Yeah. Um, when Bo, when he played for Bowes that time, a few times, like, he just was a standout player. He just knew straight away he's going to be gone. Like, you know, when obviously he did go and he's played a few times for Bowes. I think he played a four, the age of 14 against Chelsea that time. Youngest player uh, ever to play for Bohemians, anyway. I, I hazard a guess that's the League of Ireland as well. Yeah, he was he was 14, I think, when he when he played with Bowes that time and he yeah. was in a friendly. I think he was yeah. 15 or 16 in the League of Ireland when he made his mm. debut. So, quite early yeah, 15. On. Um, yeah. 
15 he's, he's his whole career ahead of him but right now he's accelerated way further than an awful lot more players in his position back in time have been so he's one that's seriously watching the future going far hopefully he's going to be one of our standout strikers in the future and I, I really hope there's big things to come with him and yeah he's number five for me I think he's doing all the right things and hopefully he gets a few games now for Brighton yeah, definitely the one to watch has a bit of upper body strength for that age as well which is going to help number four number four I've actually went with a player um, he's a right back Ebo Sele um, he's someone people might know I think he's gone on the radar a little bit but any time mm. I've watched him with Derby I think he's done so well and you know, with the way with the way Derby for playing, he's playing with two really old centre backs, mm. Curtis Davis and Jaggy Elka, and mm. you know they don't have they don't have pace. You know he used to do all run when he's playing with them. He used to make up their ground, and so he's got his phenomenal work rate. And I think being in that Derby team has made him have that work rate. And um, I think he, you know, hopefully better than Cyrus Christie. I think so. Yeah, although that that wouldn't be hard now, but um, I do think. <laughs> I think he's better. I do think he is better, and he's better defending anyway, and he's quicker. So that already puts him ahead of him. But um, yeah, I, I just think Ebo said he's, he's going to be a good player. He's developing nicely. Um, I do hope he gets a few more games for Derby. Um, <coughs> he's obviously doing very well. You know, getting into the team when he, anytime I have watched him play, very very fast, yeah. very quick player. He's an attacking right back as well. He can defend as well. So yeah, modern right back, he, isn't he? Modern one, yeah, very yeah, much so. Yeah. I think he'll be one now to really hopefully break through in the next mm. year or two for Ireland. Yeah. Uh, that's number four, isn't it? Yeah. Into the top three. Number three. Number three, I went with Connor Coventry and Peter Burr. Um, you know, he's 21 now. He's played quite a lot for the Irish in the 21s and he's been likened to a few of our players currently and he hasn't really got in. And he's been unfortunate to miss recent Ireland camps gone by. So, I've had him quite up the list because I think he probably will be a player that will be included in the next few squads if we've got, you know, injuries in the midfield or he needs to bring someone in. He's playing at the championship level. Yeah, He's now more experienced. He's more rounded as a player. And I think, you know, he could come in and do a job for us. So I've put him as number three because of that reason, because he's played so much the whole way up for Ireland under age, under 21s. Um, he's... Obviously, in a championship with Peter Burr, he's doing quite well with them. And any time I've seen him, he's been a consistent player. So I think that's that puts him up, you know, quite high for me. Let me know in the comments below anyone watching. You know, obviously for the top three, it's the quite more advanced players. But what do you think of Conor Carpentry? Would yeah. you put him in the top three? Would you have someone else there? Because that's an interesting debate. People might be aware of that. He actually doesn't have a cap for Ireland yet, which is very interesting. Years I think. of age is the oldest one on your list so far, anyway. He's the oldest one on the list. Like, yeah, the next two, I think, you know, one of them is 21 and we'll probably go to that now. Number two, Number two. Um, Keith. Yeah. Uh, I went with Gavin Kilkenny. Um, obviously, a lot, everyone probably knows him. A lot of us, including myself, have been disappointed that he's missed out on recent Ireland's camps and squads. You know, he's playing with Burma at the top of the championship. He's been starting with them. Him, Dara Travers, and, you know, a few other Irish lads there have been starting and just didn't get into the Ireland squads at the time especially himself and he's been doing so well in that midfield and you know hopefully if Bomber go up they'll keep him and he'll be a Premier League player next season and he'll play and we'll really see then where he'll go and what kind of a player he is but anything I've seen him I've been very impressed with him and I've been very surprised that he has me call up so I think he'd be the next one to get a cap um, definitely yeah, I think he's gonna, you know, he's gonna go on and do very good things in the game. He's very well around the player. He's 21 now, at a good age, good experience, playing at a high level. Ticks all the boxes for an international player or to be included in the next camp anyway. But uh, yeah, he's been number two for me. So who's number one, Daz? Number one, I went with Ross Tierney. Um, arguably, you could put Gavin Kilkenny ahead of him just because Kilkenny's been in England for quite some time. He's done quite well and obviously he's shown the level he could play at. Whereas Ross Tierney is kind of, he's moving to a lower level. He's going to Scotland and he's, you know, he hasn't played in England necessarily yet before yeah. ever Kilkenny. So maybe if I was to revise my list, I probably would have put Kilkenny ahead of him. But I went with this list, so I'm going to stick can't to can't change now. <laughs> can't change now. Oh, if anyone he's not aware, he's gone over to Motherwell. I think he'll fit right into the team there. I think he'll start and I think he'll do very, very well. And we could see him in a, top Scottish team or in the championship team in a year or two time who knows but from having watched them up close with balls 
I'm very aware of the qualities he possesses. And I think he's he's one of the best players that's come from the League of Ireland in recent years. And the work rate, the energy, the, the, everything he gives you in a player, it's a player you'd want in your team. Like the, the shift that he puts in, the work that he puts in, the determination, the effort, the tracking back, the work rate. For oh. such a small such a small guy, you know, he does so much. And yeah. if, if anyone's unsure of him, watch back a few Bowes games and watch him off the ball if you can. Watch the pressing down, the close down he does. He knows if he can't win the ball and force it one way and he's forcing the play one way and he wins it back. And he's back in that space and he's kicking up. You know, he's collecting them loose balls and he scored a lot of goals in midfield. Um, you know, He's ticking all the, bo- all the boxes to be a potentially high player in the future. So I think he's very hot property in this list to watch going forward. And I think, you know, he's in for a shout in the next few years of being the next capped Ireland player. And I think he's going to do very, very well over in Scotland. And I'm really looking forward to watching him over there. But um, that's my top 10 list anyway. Um, I would be very interested to know what people think in the comment section below. Two honourable mentions, Keats, that I'm actually going to give. Um, yeah. Kevin Zeffi is one. Yeah. I'm sure Shaman Corbett's players will be aware of him. He's 16, yeah. very young, talented. Do, doing young very player. well for Inter Milan and their uh, underage squads as well, which is good to see. He's only 16. He's in the He's a long way squad. to go. He has a long way to go. But yeah. even so, he's doing well. He's, yeah, he's doing very well. And another player, another mention was Sotana. I think I think I pronounced that one correctly. Um, from Nice in France in the League One. Um, he's an attacking left and right winger. He plays on both sides. Um, he's like you know he's Irish. Well, he has an Irish passport anyway, and he's playing. He's putting himself far to be available for Ireland. So hopefully he's someone to watch in the future. And who knows, he could be one of these videos in the future. He's he's been capped. But there are two honourable mentions. But um, yeah, that's my one to ten. I'll throw in an honourable mention very quickly. There's a guy, and I just thought it was funny when I seen it for the fir- when I seen it for the first time. McNulty Garcia. That's right, McNulty Garcia playing for Wolfsburg, centre back. Think about Yo, that. Yeah. If that was 15 yeah. years ago, you'd be thinking McNulty Garcia in the same sentence, <laughs> in the same name. Yeah. Right? But there you go. That's how times have changed. We're not watching one in Germany as well. Um, Grub. Grobe, I think that's how you say his name. That's right. He's in attacking the he, yeah. uh, black back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Over in Germany. He's yeah. another one. Yeah, he's another one too. He actually recently got into the squad over there and mm. had a game or two. So mm. you would have to see where he goes in the future. And does he actually break through? Yeah, well, the point is, I suppose, guys, there's a lot of names in that list, and they're the young cap players. They're not even counting League of Ireland young talent that's coming through as well. So be interested to see what people think actually in the comments. Uh, is there anyone we left out you'd like to mention yourself and who generally would excite you the most? Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit your bell notification button and once again, thanks for watching.